Connor McDavid is a demon. He's from some other realm that has better hockey than we have here on Earth. That's like the only way that I can describe it. He had six assists tonight on the eight Edmonton goals. This is a man not only creating must-watch TV, but clearly dedicated to one thing, winning. And his nicest assist easily came on the seventh goal of the night. He grabs the puck, crosses the blue line, is driving in on Marie's Sider, fakes the shoulder dip like he's going inside, spins outside, hits Evander Kane right in the slot. 7-3 Edmonton. That, that's just ludicrous. The skating, the vision, the fake inside, it's nice. This really was a whole team effort though, and I think that was well illustrated by the first goal. Cody Cece does a great job. Stepping up, keeps the puck from leaving the Ozone. The Oilers with sustained pressure until Dreisaitl puts it home. Same thing on the second goal. Just some really nice puck movement and Detroit looks like they're standing still. That being said, by the end of the second, a series of defensive breakdowns and just sloppy play generally would actually lead to a 3-3 game with Patrick Kane scoring the tying goal with about five and a half left in the frame. Patty Kane, by the way, has been almost a point a game player by Detroit. I don't know what else people expected, but I take that. Edmonton, however, would open up the third with three straight, the first goal coming less than 50 seconds in. That time, just a beautiful four check and steal by McDavid. I think that may be an element of his game that's underappreciated. Also, of course, the dive is always nice, and that would be McDavid's 600th career assist as well. Pretty cool. But anyway, the final score would be 8 for Edmonton. With his six points tonight, McDavid now has 77 on the season, with, and I'm not joking here, 17 points in his last five games. I do wonder, after a somewhat slower start to the season, by his standard anyway, he can actually make a push for the Art Ross as the season continues. Let me know your thoughts on all this and more down below.